Hey, what's up, guys? Warlocks will back here, and today, um, as you know, I tried, or er, for those who watch the stream, you guys know I tried Priest on stream as my first deck, and it didn't go great. We went, like, 3-8. and eight. Uh, now I'm hoping to do better. Um, so I'm trying Highlander Priest. I tried Galakarn Priest, and it didn't work. So now I found a list of Highlander Priest online, so I want to try that out, and that's what I'm going to bring to you guys. And I hope you all enjoy it. Alright guys, so with that being said, let's jump right into the first game. Alright guys, see you there. Alright. So against Mage, kind of what I'm expecting to play against. Um, although we did learn in the last couple days, that was a marvelous voice crack. Um, I think that's too slow. That's too slow to keep. Yeah, Shadow Madness is super good against Mage, I think. I think it could be really, really good. Alex Strauss is a little slow. By a little, I mean very much so. And as you can see, I also crafted Headmaster Kel'Thuzad. Just as I don't think the card's going to get nerfed, and I think the card is fairly good. I really like the card. I think I'm going to try and build a deck with him, even if he's not good. Just because I really, really like his effect. He has a very, very interesting effect. And he's an actual win con for Druid, so... Yeah, I like that. Um... Things I'm not that happy about with this deck is that there's no Draconic, um, book thing to lower your dragons by one. So it means you can't play Alexstrasza and then drop both dragons on the same turn. Um, or you can do, like, Alexstrasza Penance or something like that. It means you can't do that, which kind of sucks. But, uh, there are a couple cards in here that I would, wouldn't mind cutting. As you guys know, I'm not a big fan of uh, Cleric of Scales. I'm not a big fan of Imprisoned Vile Fiend. Speaking of Cleric of Scales. Um, I'm going to hold this in my hand. Um, basically use it as kind of like a tutor. Oh, is this... Okay, I think I know what deck we're playing against. And this means we want to go as fast as possible. This can actually tell me. Show me Archmage Giant tonight. Oh. So, if I'm not mistaken... This is Combo Priest. That's a really good draw for him. Uh, so their combo is going to be... Fuck, I didn't put her in. I didn't put the main co counter to her, this deck in here. That could be a problem. Very, very much could be. Murazon is not great. I'm gonna play this here actually. Like I know I want to use it as a um, tutor, and I think I found exactly what I'd be tutoring for. So his deck is all answers and draw. Wow, this is gonna be slightly harder to win then. I think. Oh, oh fuck! I'm gonna, okay, no, I'm not. I think it's either Holy Nova or Death, and I prefer Holy Nova. I think. No, death, death, I think, is just more value. We should be able to be able to control the board with what we have in hand. Um, and death might be able to kill something bigger. What the fuck? Reorder your deck. Why did that target mine? What the fuck? Okay. Annoyingly enough, that has too much health. Um, okay, let's do this here. Look for an answer of some sort. None of these are answers, but Soul Mirror is by far the best card here. Uh, I can coin... No, I don't have to hit exactly a one drop. I need to play something here. Uh, this is most likely... Oh, let's see what this can get me, actually. Because I, I don't need to answer this, but I don't mind the Twilight Drake here. Twilight Drake is actually kind of a solid card. Yeah, this is fine. I have to burn a card. Um, I kind of forgot that playing Zephyrus here wouldn't help with that. Well, it's kind of bad. I didn't want to just throw away, so I think this is better. This means that his guy now trades into Zephyrus, and I'm still able to drop Twilight Drake next turn. That was not well played by me. Not whatsoever. Anyways, I hope y'all have a drink. Uh, that's the next thing I wanted to say. Um, I currently have me a beer, so um, tell you guys what you guys are drinking below. 
I drew this, and this is actually kind of bad, because there's, like, no way for me to play it. Cobalt Spellcan would be good if I had slightly less cards in hand. But it could be good next turn. 4 9 should be good enough here. It's getting frozen uh, by Ray of Frost that we know he has in hand. Uh, but yeah, I'm 99% sure this is combo. And not playing the anti-combo minions, or the one anti-combo minion in this deck, uh, is going to lose us this game. I'm going to be adding her after this one, and I think I'm cutting Imprison for it. Because I honestly think that card is actually just insane. Um, fuck, what's her face? The 2-drop that Priest got. I genuinely think that card is actually insane. Uh, that's kind of shit. I have probably- I have better minions to give Reborn. Something like, uh, one of the minions with Spellburst. Headmaster Kel'Thuzad comes to mind. Um... Actually, no. I can't really do it on Kel'Thuzad, huh? No, I cannot. Feels bad, man. Yeah, so this is clearly Freeze Mage. This is not good. Not good. It's it's Freeze Mage, and then they win with Potion. Um, potion and some variety of other cards. Let's force him to continue to have Freezes for our board. He only has four in his deck. So, this is fine. Right? His deck has exactly four. It has double Blizzard, double Frost Nova. Maybe actually getting Circle of Healing might have been slightly better. Uh, oh, that's really good. Power in Trinkets. That's really shit. Maybe something I can play on this? Or not. Don't. I guess don't. Oh, I should have healed a minion there. My health total doesn't matter because I died to an OTK. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, we're in a little bit of a pickle. Okay, there's Lizard Numero Dose. By the way, this game was an easy win if we were playing uh, the Take Your Opponent's Hand and Deck for a turn. The hand is really shit in the scenario I'm in right now, huh? Get them at least one minion out of- oh, I should've healed the other guy. I should've healed them out of flame strike range. Okay. Are you planning on playing like 23 spells in one turn? Oh, that's so unlucky. Okay, you draw five. What two mana card can you play to kill me? Double Frostbolt? I guess Double Frostbolt would do it. Am I just dead? Okay, I'm just dead. Yeah. That's... Seems really powerful. Hmm. We knew this deck was going to be weak to combo. We knew that. So... Yeah, I'm gonna make that modification I wanted to do. And we'll jump into the next game. Oh shit, another priest. Okay, so this is... I think the more popular version of this deck is Tempo. So we have to play like if we're playing it's Tempo. And I think for that... I think we keep Karage then. No... We're looking for, like, death, forbidden words. 
That's those those are some actually powerful cards. I like these. I like these a lot. Or we're playing against we're playing the mirror, in which case I guess fuck me. Question mark. Um I was not expecting to be playing the mirror so soon into the expansion. I thought I was the only one crazy enough to be playing a control deck in really early stages of the meta. I could Veil Weaver coin Forbidden Words here. Well, it's only two damage. I think I could get more value out of Forbidden Words than that. Especially when I can go like this guy with coin. It's pretty powerful. See? Oh, I can get more value out of Forbidden Words. That also had a removal spell. So the thing was, if I would have played the coin forbidden words there, my Veil Weaver would have just died to this, and then I was kind of fucked. This way, I get to keep the Veil Weaver around. That's obnoxious, but at least we have this. That's also fairly good. This combos really well with uh, set the attack or something to one. This is just for, yeah, this turn only. I'm going to give him something he has to kill here. Remember what I said? This combos really well together? Yeah, this is just something he has to trade into here. So, he's going to trade into that. I said they don't have enough mana to pull off. Oh, fuck me. Don't have, don't have a one-cost spell. If he has a one-cost spell here, I might be fucked. Oh, uh, two cost spell. Fuck, man. Dance, puppet. Dance. That's super bad. So this is like just a tempo deck, and he has a guard draw with both Howard Feast. Um. I have two fairly good plays here, but I think this one is just the best. I do this here. No, no, this is fine. This is fine. I have a plan for everything. As far as I have Soul Mirror in hand, I have a plan for everything. Um. Okay. Health is odd would almost be insane here. Kelth is odd to be insane if he had a little bit less power. Okay. Now I know what I need to take. I'm just gonna take that. Uh, I was hoping to be able to have that hit there and then Soul Mirror to kill it. Guess not. Hmm. Soul Mirror is okay here, but I think I just prefer to do this. Let me change your mind. Yeah, that seems powerful enough. Hopefully he doesn't have his own Cabal Shadow Priest. Or a second one. Of the Acolytes. If he has a second Acolyte, I mean, it's kind of whatever, but... Show me Acolyte number two. This guy drew both Powered Feasts, both Acolytes, and the Escape Mana Saber. Aight there, buddy. Alrighty. Okay, that's kind of fine. This is like a perfectly fine Soul Mirror. I get an extra mana, so I have two mana here. I'm just gonna invoke my Galakron. That's actually also fairly good. Okay, now we're in a pretty decent spot. We're basically at full health. Sure, we played our Soul Mirror, but we're basically at full health.
Depending on what he does, I also have Marazon, so I could also just copy whatever he does for his turn. See, this is a game where Mind Render is, like, kind of bad, but I feel like it's also still insane. We might get to a point where our hand is just straight trash for whatever's on our side of the board, so we could just Mind Render away his hand. Which would be really good for us. To be fair, he also- Oh, fuck! No, that's so bad! Oh, no. I lose the game now. Don't steal the 2-1 taunt. Whatever you do. Okay. Just don't steal the 2-1 taunt. Of course you do. I mean, that's kind of what the fuck ever. That is very, very unlikely. He also hits... The deck doesn't have dragons in it normally, so he has a dragon he RNG'd off somewhere. At least this puts it out of the range of the Cabal. Of this guy. Also a terrible card to hit. Uh, here I think we actually just got kind of RNG fucked. He drew really, really well. Cabal, Cabal Acolyte is performing much better than I thought he would be. I'm guessing a deck that also has a whole bunch of small minions is really fucking good when you have both of them as well, I guess. Um, what do the cards say? What's the? There's no good draws left in my. Oh, no, he's trading that away here. I think. If not, Shadow Madness would kind of be insane. They gotta go Shadow. He also has Galakron in hand. I mean... Can I draw Zephyrus? Zephyrus is not even good is the problem. Shadow Madness I think is the only actual insane card here. Shadow Madness? That's not even good. This hand? Oh, he's also... He stole my Alex Straza. And my Kraj, and that's the card I steal from. Okay. Oh, there's no way out here. Oh my fucking god. I can't get a win to save my life. This deck feels so strong, though. I feel like I'm losing to terrible draws, or my opponent's having insane draws. And that's not just me trying to meme. I genuinely feel like that game we should have won, but he had double Acolyte. Yeah, 100%, right? Yeah. Fuck it, uh, we'll try one more game. I'll probably continue this series for a little bit, because I honestly think this deck is good. I might just be playing it slightly wrongly. So, uh, yeah, anyways, let's just jump right into the next one. Okay. Fuck, man, this is another, like... Why am I not facing all the aggro decks that are on ladder? Ladder should be filled with aggro right now. And I face Dr Combo Mage, Tempo Priest, Druid. And then I hit this, and that deck, if I'm not mistaken, has no minions that have two or less attack. Quite literally zero. So, I mean, it's kind of whatever. I'm gonna move back to playing wild. We have Thought Seal on turn two, which is really fucking good. If he doesn't have a super aggressive start, or if it's a very slow deck, turn two Thought Steel is really insane. It also helps us see what he's actually playing. Because there are a couple versions of Druid that are floating around. Okay, okay. I was hoping to hit ramp, but I guess not.
If this card had rush, it'd be so much better. Um. I guess just a 3-5 here is fine. Uh, I'd rather say the coin, probably the coin something like this out. Or to combo with Forbidden Words. Depending what he does. Of course. You have the best turn 4 in your deck. Okay. So I lose now because I'm 3 mana behind. That's a fairly good card. Yeah, the hypothesis here is going to be, I think, pretty insane. Make this a 7-7. Seven, seven. I feel like that could be kind of insane. We also have a 0 mana card to combo with the other spell burst cards in our hand. Which is also fairly nice. Oh man, I don't know. Priest might actually just be complete trash. And I'm trying to find a deck where there is none. The fact that it says it, it attacks is very, very important here. Mm. I feel like Apothesis is like super good here, but I don't think I can fit it in. This gets me death. The problem with death is I can't keep this guy alive. Like, I might as well just go for Forbidden Words at that point. I also kind of want one of these. I could do Kraj plus Iron Bark. Hit, hit. That's nine, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. I think that might be the best play. Yeah. I draw two cards. He now has to hit here, which gives me one of my own. And kills off his guy. Like, uh, this seems on paper like the best play. Even if he buffs it, I have Forbidden Words or Zephyrus into death. To deal with it. That's fine. We must stop this corruption. I have Forbidden Words to deal with it. I mean, if I draw Wave of Apathy, that would actually be best case scenario. Because then I could just take it, or take this. Which one's better? Just taking this is probably better. Mm. I need that for four, so I can do this first. This mind control against these big decks could be kind of insane. This one has more health, though. If I had drawn Penance, this would have been actually perfect. I have to play an optimal. It's also only 8 damage. Is that too Reedy? This is a very high odds of getting me a steal. Yeah, no, I have to play safe. Okay, play safe. I can't leave him with too many big minions on the board for too long because then I, that's that's how I lose. I have mind control as an answer to one big thing if he ever has just one big thing on the battlefield. I theoretically have Galakron as another one, Soul Mirror as an another one, Time Rip as another one, and then Wave of Apotheosis plus Cabal as a third one. Or he summons a whole bunch of Tutus. That was probably the best card he could have RNG'd, huh? Actually, was it? Well, that's a... F that's super beautiful. Yeah, that's super beautiful. 
This gains me so much health. Actually so much health. And I still have the soul mirror. Oh, that's beautiful. 4-6 taunt theoretically takes a hit from each of those, which is why I'm kind of safe. I mean, theoretically, he has Savage Roar, which I doubt he plays, right? He's playing, like, a minion-based deck, so Savage Roar just wouldn't make sense. So this should be really fucking good. And again, as soon as I find Wave... Oh, that's... That's not good. Okay, that's fine. We can... If we say that's fine, that's fine. He, th he has to trade both of his guys into my guy here. Which is also kind of fine. Um, This should give me a spell to deal with this. Hopefully. Or not. Guess I take six. I don't want a Zephyrus here. Zephyrus can get me, like, a not Plague, uh, Twisting Nether, which will be much, much better later on. Problem is, everything right now he's playing is plus four, plus four. Hmm. At least Soul Mirror is going to be really good then. Okay, we, we can just chill here. We take six, that's not the end of the world. I mean, I'd rather it not happen, but at the same time, I kind of accepted it already. My dream is not oh, fucking Christ. Why do they always have you, Sarah? Why? Why do they always have you, Sarah, on curve? Why did I draw penance? Although, wave would be kind of insane here. Or not. Okay. Um. There's no real easy way to deal with this. Give me my two cards. What the fuck are those cards? What are these? Where is like Plague of Death? Like, I hit two mana worth of cards off that. And this is getting me two nine mana cards to summon a dragon. Are you kidding me? These spell burst cards. Energy. Oh my god, I should have. Look at it now, I should have saved those. Soul Mirror would have been insane. Soul Mirror can still be insane. Again, Wave of, of Apothecy can still be super bonkers. I mean, I take 12 here. I don't like that, but I kind of have to. Do you have two other spells to play? Oh my god. Priest is bad. Priest is just bad. I don't want to believe that Priest is just terrible. I really don't want to believe it. But I don't think it's true. Perfect, this works exactly how I want it to. Um, I'll just do this. He probably doesn't have an easy way to deal with both of these. He's played one Bog Bean, so he can deal with one. There's Breath number two. Portal. Don't be something good. Something good. That would be something good. It was something good. 
Then another one. I have so many plays here. I can Mirazon. I don't think Mirazon casts portals though. Okay, I guess I just play it semi slowly. I think I'm just casting Shadowwood Ruins here, so. That's kind of good. That's really fucking good. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Hopefully he plays one really big minion here that I can just steal with, uh, Acolyte. And it's one I can't steal. Galakron? I really don't want to give him more card draw, so Galakron would be kind of the best case scenario here. Believe it or not, that's not Galakron. I'd really like a taunt minion. Ooh, eight eights. Oh, looks like I take half my health bar here. Actually, no, he kind of has to kill my dragons, though. No? That was one of the best dragons to hit. Okay, two shitty ones. Two really good ones. I guess that's fair. I guess. But really good, I mean, 8-8s eight were just kind of insane. I did have, like, the perfect pre answer to them. I actually kind of want to get all the portals here. Then I could just bust Zephyrus. You can't target that. That's enormous. I also can't target that. That is also an insane card to get. I believe he's... No, he has one more stealth minion, I'm pretty sure. Fuck, man. I have so many possible plays. I think this is gonna give me... That's exactly what I wanted. This allows me to play this. Okay, that's good. It's good that he doesn't have another dragon that he that he drew. He has two left in his deck. My taunt guy. Well, if he does that attack, I'm, that's kind of good with me. Nope, for five. Six dragon. We must yeah, biggest anti dragon. That's fine. This doesn't keep rush, right? It doesn't. Oh. If I just had a way to kill everything, this would be insane. I think this is the best play. Your mind is not your Fuck, this is all, huh? Oh, that's that's super bad. Wait, no, actually, that's kind of good. I have 
Super high odds of hitting both at one of these two. Uh, I don't have enough mana to do that, but. Yeah, if if I had if this was one less mana, I could have also done this, and that would have been fucking broken. I thought there was one minion. That is so much better than I thought. Wave of Apathy might just be completely broken. Is it just completely broken? Um, one damage off being able to like pull off like a major this. And I'm just fine getting a taunty boy. Yeah, getting a taunty boy is fine. This card just can't be played though. I'm fine with leaving this up. So the thing is, how I'm looking at it right now is depending what that hits i'm probably able to sit it down to one health and then kelthuzad is going to be really good with holy nova is how i see it are you joking question mark hey buddy buddy old pal okay we can get an 8-8 eight eight or another Taunty Boy. Murasan's also not bad. Yeah, Murasan's fine. This is fine. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. <laughs> um, I thought this game was over. And then Soul Mirror happened. Soul Mirror is a hell of a card. You know what? Priest might not be completely dead. Like, that game I feel like we drew, like, fairly well. I mean, sure, we didn't get, like, Madame Lazul. We never saw Galakron. But I think we play that fairly well. I feel like we could have possibly played Circuit Turns a little bit better. But... Yeah. Especially that later turn, when I realized that it sets all minions health to 1. Um, I should have probably did th 2 damage to the enemy board first and then played it. Um, because that way I was guaranteed a bigger, or I was guaranteed one of the bigger minions, I didn't have to take a 66% chance. Uh, that, that could have been better. Um, I could have possibly played the Mind Render earlier, but I think it's fine how I played, I like the fact that I didn't play her. I never want, I never want to give my opponent what I had in hand. What I had in hand was normally really good answers. So if I just gave him my answers, he was able to play just them kind of out silly and that could have cocked me so i think i played that really really well anyways with all that being said i hope y'all enjoyed the video if you guys did don't forget to leave a like and subscribe rep the gang i'll see you guys in the next one where hopefully hopefully this one two becomes four two right um so yeah i think i'm gonna stick on this deck probably for like three four videos and then I might move to something else. I've been thinking about Libram Paladin. That deck is kind of the best one in the format right now. Um, according to HS Replay. So I want to try it out for myself. I might start playing some games off uh, recording. Just to try out a whole bunch of different decks. Uh, I'm not sure though. But uh, anyways. Uh, that is for me to decide at a later point. For now I'm going to leave you guys here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright guys. Peace.